start out with just some guy in a cap. Two buck teeth. A mullet. Or a t shirt. There are shoes. Okay. Okay, so we've got our we got a character here. Oops. Now what I like to do is use this character as the basis for creating some oddball, wild, doodle scene. At first I'll give him a, uh, a word balloon. Okay, so that's what he's saying, whatever it is. Alright, well, to that we have to add some sort of scene. So I got, I'm thinking like, uh, this looks like some clouds. This is some sort of architectural stuff because I'm doing this kind of liney stuff, you know, vertical and horizontals. A few boxes might be windows or something, I'm not quite sure. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles within bubbles. This uh, warp balloon suddenly starts reminding me of a fish. Kind of stair step type things, you know, things growing out of it. This type of thing I usually associate with plants. Same thing with this too. Texture in there. Okay, so we got a lot going on. I'll give him a little friend. I'll give him a little, a large beetle or something. All right. So quickly, you can see just by starting out with a character, and I like to give him a word balloon, so it looks like he's active. He's not just a passive object in this picture. He's saying something, although we, it's hard to read. It's not in English. And then in the background we have a very active scene. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm, I'll leave it at that. This is a black and white doodle cartoon drawing which was inspired, or has its, its, has its initial focal point, a uh, cartoon character. Who has a guy with a hat, with buck teeth, t-shirt, and his shoes, and he's got his little creature, this massive cockroach, following him around.